Come back to the Horizon TV. I'm Somna Sambu. Now, with just over a year until the crucial presidential elections, Nigeria's ruling party, the All Progressives Congress, has begun the tortuous task of choosing its top leaders and candidates. Later this month, the party will hold its long-awaited convention where it will pick, among other leaders, its national work its national chairman as well as new members of its national working committee but several issues threaten to undermine the convention including lack of cohesion leadership problems and internal conflicts there's also the issue of zoning no fewer than 10 aspirants from the north are battling to be the third elected national chairman of the party an indication that the office may have been zoned to the region my next guest today senator mohammed sani musa is vying for the party's top spot if he wins he will inherit a party that observer says deeply divided as the country marches on towards the all-important general election and he will need a good dose of luck to unite apc members good to have you distinguished uh, thank you very much. Yeah, and, and so a lot of um, uh, Nigerians are wondering why so many of you are actually coming out from the North Central. Does it mean that the APC has zoned the ticket to the North Central? Why are other people from the southern part of the country not coming? We've only got more people from the North, and there are even more people from the North Central. Uh, that is the beauty of democracy, and that tells you that the party is still acceptable and very acceptable to Nigerians. And uh, for us to start to aspire, for positions not only for the national chairmanship all other positions there are quite a number of people that have shown interest and that tells you that apc is the party to be and what sort of consensus are you building around your own candidacy how have you been able to reach out to party members considering that i mean it's your party faithful that will be voting through either the direct or indirect uh, system and not nigerians but we see your samples almost everywhere as if nigerians are electing you uh the most important thing is that uh, before aspiring have you been able to adequately understand what challenges are there in the party what are the things that you need to come with it all takes one with the vision to be able to think deeply and understand what are those things what are those qualities that you need to put in order to make a difference and all i'm trying to do here is that i am trying to come with a new we need a party that will be standard this is the biggest party in africa and if we are copying democracy from the United States of America, we should be able to do, yeah, there are over 200 years ahead of us in terms of uh, uh, giving democratic uh, governance. But that does not mean that we should not be able to put our houses in order. And the only platform that you can give that is the political structures that we put. The foundation is already there for democracy. But the pillars are still shaky. And what are those pillars? The pillars are the political parties. By the time we make our political parties become like institutions, whereby we have laid down rules, we have a constitution of the party, we have guidelines that usually come, we have treaties that leaders can come, and we have organs of this party. If all can adhere strictly to the tenets, the conventions that this party has set for itself, we will have an ideology and we move on. And the country will be better off for that. Because uh, what, what sort of APC do you envision? Uh, looking at Nigeria's population, what sort of ruling party or governing party do you envision? I, and are you, ho are you hoping that you don't build your dreams too high? Because we've seen a former ruling party, um, you know, lo lost election in this country. What would you do to ensure that the APC is presented as a leading light, not just in Africa, but I, I, I'm a realist. I don't believe in dreams. Yeah, I can dream to be with someone, but I want to work hard to get to that, 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 that place. I will tell you that I have got in there to know that we have a lot of problems. And we are, we are the governing party at the moment. We need to have those in governance. And the party needs to do it. We have a manifesto. Have we ever done what we call the peer review to understand how the impact of our activities are going? Have we done party conferences? All these things we, 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 we are saying we're doing democracy. The party needs to set a standard. And that standard, once the party set it, those that will be aspiring, those that will be elected, will now be adequately be identified to be having the ideology of the party, what the party set to achieve for Nigerians. My, um, my, my ambition is that I want to make APC a party that every Nigerian will have the confidence and desire to participate. 
with the crisis in the party right now, a lot of people are afraid that even the February 26 convention may not hold again due to allegations that governors are still trying to uh, tamper with that date. How will you build consensus, elite consensus within your party to drive a new narrative in, 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 in every democratic setup, you have pessimists and you also have some optimists. I belong to the optimist. I believe that in democratic dispensation or in a, a, a structure like the APC or any other political party, you can imagine what happened in PDP period to 2015. So I'm not surprised that, that we have re real issues in terms of differences. It's all about the ideals that every one of us will, will have as individuals. But what are the ideals of the party? So if we all agree and subscribe to be members of this political party, then we must also be willing to accept certain standards that the party has, especially within the organs. Right. And you don't want to be direct. You want to talk about governors having issues with some National Assembly members or governors having issues in some of their states. It's part of political activities that will now ginger those the buys to come together if they really want to win. Very election. interesting. And you happen to be on both sides of the divide at the moment. You are you mm. are a serving senator and uh, you are aspiring to actually be uh, the APC national chairman. Uh, you met with your governor just yesterday who endorsed you, uh, Governor uh, uh, Bello in uh, Niger State. What does that endorsement mean to you? And then have you been able to talk to him to help you reach out to all other governors who are very powerful in controlling the pa party structures? My governor is my brother, is my very good friend, and he has, has made a statement. And so if you listen to his statement, it's enough for me. I have every confidence. Yeah, but he's still reaching out on your behalf to other governors because they I, seem to hold sway over the APC. He is the chairman of the North Central Governors Forum. So that gives me an edge. That gives me an edge. He doesn't he have to come to the uh, public law and said, oh, I'm with. But the statement he met yesterday before all APC members is enough for me. The state executive of the APC were there and it's, it's good enough. And he promised to reach out. And, and I, I cannot doubt his words. Very interesting. And I believe that he's a man of his own words. Now, as, so, we, as we try to round off this conversation very quickly, you are very strong on information and technology. How will you deploy that into the APC if you happen to be the national chairman? Considering your antecedent as helping to supply card readers to Nigeria in well, One most important aspect of what I'm going to bring as a new to, uh, to APC is, is all about funding. When we are crying about funding, when we are putting pressure on the governors, when they have limited resources, when we are putting pressure on government and those elected uh, representatives, when the economy is not even good enough for them to be able to take all the serious issues they have on ground in their various states, I think the party needs to look inwardly to see how we can raise funds. So that party and members if, can be paying. If, 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 if we have 40 million membership, before you subscribe to APC, to be a member of APC, you must have agreed and read all our, 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 our standards. You read our constitution. And members are supposed to be financial members. Yeah, then how do you intend to do that? Because it's I will, easy I will, getting I will, party members will, to pay will, their I will dues. use technology to be getting money from all the members that have... If once you have access to certain technological uh, tools like the telephone, if you have emails... I will be able to raise money without you even feeling that I'm raising money out of it. Very Because having ta a 40 million uh, in a, your database. Yeah, and, and I wanted to also ask you how a lot of Nigerians actually doubt the figure that APC has 40 million because even President Buhari didn't have such a figure to emerge in 2015 and 2019. So how should Nigerians actually believe the APC when it says well, it the, has 40 million uh, uh, members? You just mentioned about IT. You just mentioned about, uh, about digitalization. There is no way you can say you have a digital uh, register and then are you going to, how do you input the numbers to get to 40 million? If the numbers must be there. So uh, the issue of whether we have 40 million Nigerians registered or not does not arise because it's a digital register and you, there's no way you can hamper with it. So as far as I'm concerned, if we have 40 million in our register as registered members of APC, I think APC is going to be the party that every Nigerian will look up to. Very because we will be very innovative. <laughs> we 
will be very innovative. It's not about noise. V very interesting. It's about being a realist. Very interesting indeed, uh, Mohamed uh, Sani Musa, a seventh senator and chairman of the Senate um, Services Committee. We must thank you for being on the show and we can only wish you and other aspirants for the national chairmanship position of the APC well as you head to February 26th. Well, that has been for this edition of the Arise interview. Do join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Goodbye and thank you for watching. I'm Somna Sambu. <laughs>